before he gave the speech. NBC 10's Dan J.D. continues our coverage now with reaction from Rhode Island's congressional delegation. Dan, they're on his side. We know that. That's right, Dean. Those with sharp eyes had no trouble spotting our guys there at the gallery last night. Congressman Patrick Kennedy getting an embrace from the, Ken from the president as he entered the chamber. There is a Senator Reid watching right there in front of him, Senator Whitehouse. And our crews in D.C. actually caught up with White House minutes after the speech. And maybe not surprisingly, he thought his fellow Democrat nailed it. And I think he framed the issues of energy, health care, and education very well. They're exactly the things we need to work on. He set us on a hard, firm schedule, and uh, I think he did just the right thing. Senator Whitehouse brought a guest with him to witness the address, West Warwick native Lauren Goddard. She's a Brown graduate student living with Crohn's disease. At the top of her list of concerns, the president's plan to make health care in the future affordable. For me personally, it, it's scary to think that, you know, I could be turned down for insurance or that, you know, I might only be offered a premium that would sort of be, you know, out of my reach um, financially, um, especially, you know, when it's really important um, to continue to take medications, um, especially if you have a chronic condition. Here are the president's health care highlights. He says in the last eight years.